Good morning friends and welcome back. I'm going to show you how I turned this suitcase that I got at the thrift store from a plain white suitcase into this. And just so you know, I already coated the surface with one coat of the chalk paint by Americana Deco Art in their color Everlasting. That is their white. And the reason that I did that is because I am going to do an acrylic paint finish over this and decoupage. If you just do your acrylic painting and decoupage over the surface of this, it could easily peel away or wear away. So you want that base coat of the chalk paint first. And I will have links down below as always. Here is how I got this started. So guys, I am going to take this outside and I will do the painting finish on it out there. It's the end of the summer. I'd like to get outside. So one thing I wanted to mention, this is the Deco Art Drying Time Extender Medium. Because when you're blending paint like this, you're going to want to use something that helps the paint stay wet a little bit longer so they blend that much more smoothly. You don't want them drying up on you. And that chalk paint underneath is the perfect base coat for this.
So here is how the suitcase turned out, the painting. And I just, as you noticed, I just kept blending and blending and blending. So once all of my napkins are cut out like this, I want to make sure that I lay them out first the way that I want them to be rather than decoupage them on and then say, you know what, I don't like the way this looks. So first I just took everything and this is about my fourth attempt. I've already tried another couple of ways to situate these, but this is the way that I'm going to ultimately go with. And so now I'll just decoupage these napkins on here. I suggest for larger pieces like this that you go from the center out from each flower. And down here, I can just go from the center out on these smaller ones. I'm going to begin to decoupage and I'm using my favorite no fail deco art decoupage napkin glue and I'm going to be using my paintbrush that's on an angle. continue to decoupage the rest of these on here but just a couple of points that I wanted to make because this suitcase if you were to magnify it you could see that there are there's some type of a pattern in there and I really want the glue to sink down into the napkins so you saw me keep reloading the brush and going back over it because I really want that glue to get down into those crevices and I'm also making sure that these ends are down but I'm not going this way yet for now I just want to go from the center out make sure these edges are firmly down in place the napkin is down and you can see there aren't any wrinkles in We're there. We're all done decoupaging and I'm going to put this outside to dry and do the final touch, which will be the varnish and probably I've got to add some glitter in there, I think. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm outside. You're going to hear a little bit of uh, birdies, some cars going by, and hopefully you'll hear what I'm trying to say. So around the base of this, I just used some painter's tape and newspaper because I'm now going to spray the top coat and I want a high gloss. So I'm using the Deco Art acrylic sealer finish, but I'm also going to add some glitter. You know, I got to add glitter, right? <laughs> so I'm going to add some glitter because while this is wet, it will still hold the glitter on perfectly. I've got drop cloths, two drop cloths underneath, one to protect the driveway, but then there's another drop cloth so that the glitter falls right onto that and then I can put it back in my container because I hate to waste glitter.
All right, guys, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'll tap it off a little bit when I think it's dry so that I let that excess glitter fall to the drop cloth. And I did add a second coat of the spray varnish over the glitter and that's because it will still maintain all of that sparkle. Okay, can you tell I just ran up a flight of stairs because I was trying to catch the sunlight in the bedroom. <laughs> I couldn't do it in the driveway. There's too much shade. So there's a little bit of a sunny spot up here. You have a good idea of how the suitcase turned out though. I'm happy with that. Let me try one more trick. There we go. You can get a better idea in the dark with a nice flashlight over it where that glitter is and how it looks during different times of the day. That's better. That glitter to me just makes it look magical. <laughs> oh, I know. Last week I made a video where I showed you how to cut these napkins out. Any napkins for decoupage. We want to make it a little bit easier for you because it can be pretty challenging. So I'll put the link down below for that. A link for my book and all the products that you'll need with the exception of the suitcase this was a nice good will find i'm going to load up some of my summer clothes roll them up neatly and put them inside there and this way i won't mind if my storage is actually sitting out in the bedroom you could do this in any color any themes whatever matches your rooms here let's see i can see a little bit more of the glitter over here now Ooh, look at that we like that glitter. <laughs> when I don't use glitter, then people say, where's the glitter? There it is. So that's our video for the week, my friends. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week with another video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.